Traders, I'm done trading for the day. I'm just getting annoyed, annoyed looking at uh, Tesla here and um, witnessing the way it uh, finally did move up, uh, although I moved out too early. So as you can see here, I have a losing trade in Tesla. I just couldn't hold. The market was moving down. I thought Tesla would follow. Uh, Tesla did follow enough to take me out and um, I have a small loser and uh, that's it, moved out of Tesla. So um, just uh, to summarize what we've seen today, and um, it was quite an interesting day so far because we've seen the market uh, working uh, very technically the way it's supposed to be uh, working. And um, again, just uh, take a look at uh, the S&P and the Nasdaq. So here you can see the Nasdaq. We started with the gap up, moved up, came down, closed the gap and even continued lower. And then take a look at the S&P 500, which did quite the same. Well, not yet closed the gap, but started with the gap up. You see, this is Friday's close. So we started with the gap up, moved higher. At that point of the day, you know, when the market's opening up on the Monday morning with a very strong upside momentum, you can think that, wow, we could continue higher forever like that. Well, usually it just doesn't work this way. You always need to remember that on Monday's mornings, we have a lot of open orders coming from the weekend. And apparently these orders are hard to buy. And that's why the market was moving higher. And exactly at the 30 minute mark, when all of these orders were executed, came the real intraday orders and they were definitely down. So you have to remember, we, we, we've got the 30 minute mark on a Monday morning. We also have a gap to close. So when the market opens up with the gap, there will be a lot of downside pressure to close the gap. S&P didn't quite close the gap, close. Nasdaq did close the gap and continued. That is a very technical move. The thing is, once the gap is closed, you don't really know what's coming next. So right now, I, the only thing, I, I see two things. One is we do have a very big downside pressure here. This downside movement here was rather strong, but the market still is in great territory. The S&P is currently up 0.5%. So we could finish in green. Uh, so everything means, I mean, the end, the, the end result is I have no idea where we're going next. The only thing I could anticipate is the failure of the upside move which I did anticipate, the pullback from the highs, which I didn't anticipate, the pressure to come down into the gap, which I didn't anticipate, and then it's finished. But you know, there are some points during the trading session where you can anticipate something and then act accordingly. And that happened with BABA. Now take a look at BABA. So when you take a look at BABA, that's uh, my best trade today. Um, by the way, if you take a look at my trade, you see that I have uh, three winners and theoretically two, um, sorry, two winners and three losers. That's not the case because I had really two trades in Roku and two trades in Baba. Uh, actually added to Roku, uh, but doubled my size in Roku. So really two trades in Roku and two trades in Baba. So for me, I do have, in fact, four green trades and three losers today, which uh, the end result is uh, up $9,000. But what I do want to concentrate is on BABA. BABA trades start with the fact that BABA started with a gap up like the market did, failed, moved down before the market moved down, tried to move higher before the market came down, and then with the market coming down, started to move down. So once you get to the point where you see that BABA is clearly downtrending, that's the point where you see or you feel like you have a downside pressure, downside, momentum, and that's when you take your trade. That's where I took my trade. Can't remember really where was my second trade. But anyway, I had two short good trade, two short trades in BABA, which worked out fine. And it's not only because of the intraday, it all starts with the daily. Now take a look at BABA. BABA is right here. BABA crashed down recently, like two weeks ago, a bit more than that. Tried to move higher, failed. Never catch a falling knife. When Baba's coming down this way, don't expect it to return to the highs. It's more likely to continue down and it crashed once more. Now people are looking at it and saying, wow, we can catch another falling knife here. No, never catch a falling knife. When you see Baba trying to move higher, just like it did here, expect a failure. I was looking at the daily of Baba today and I said, well, this could be, well, not really prepared it pre-market time, just saw it during market hours. It was not prepared 
uh, pre-market time. But once I saw intraday that BABA is under some kind of pressure, I expected the market to come down. And then I looked at the daily of BABA. Well, it's very clear. BABA is likely to continue down. Based on this daily, yes, it's trying to move higher because people are averaging, averaging down their losses. Uh, some people are catching falling knives, whatever. But it's more likely to fail. Again, more likely to fail does not mean it will fail. But when you see a daily like this, there will be a downside pressure. So daily suggests it's going to come down. Intraday suggests it's going to come down. The S&P and the Nasdaq are coming down, therefore more likely to be under pressure. So the only one I think is uh, uh, educational worthy today to discuss is really BABA. And um, that's it. So I'm going to finish with a decent uh, green day. Uh, could have been much nicer if I had the, uh, if I could hold for BABA to, um, Tesla to go back to the highs. But well, <laughs> didn't was under some kind of pressure hoping that I'm going to stay in green and Tesla risked that and uh, that's what happens when you're you don't really sure if you're going to finish in green or red anyway uh, that's a nice green start for me for the week thank you very much for joining I want to thank uh, you guys in YouTube too and um, if you don't mind uh, just clicking the button right here down here it looks like that it says like <laughs> uh, it says uh, thumb up um, and um, it's going to help our channel and we would like to get more people looking at our channel so if you're going to click it right now and uh, help us uh, get more people to our channel we will appreciate it very much uh, we think that uh, a lot of people should enjoy this channel and uh, you know the more power we have the more people watching this channel the more people trading with us going same direction it helps so the fact that we are a group that helps and um, if you don't mind giving us a thumb up, that will help us very much. So thank you for joining us and I'll see you all traders tomorrow. Bye traders.